hello. I just exclaimed that I don't like an egg, and my husband said that I was his favourite egg. So, hello, your egg checking in to welcome you to Vlogmas Day 23. Can you believe it? What a December it has been. Ladies and gentlemen, this was supposed to be a quiet month, and then all of this work happened, which is great, but it's been a lot with Vlogmas. So today, I am greasy gremlin goblin mode editing, if you are familiar with editing, and the kind of starts with one knee up, and that is what I've been doing for most of the day. It's actually been a lot better than I thought, and having the bar that low for Vlogmas, I'm sorry, but when I've had a lot of other things on, it's been good to have a low bar. So I've been able to edit, 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 and now I need to go to Iceland to buy some Christmas food. Oh, John is appearing with wrapping paper. Yes, because I'm also going to drop off a present to a local. But talking of presents, we have managed to bequeath ourselves of the big pile that was here and wonderfully, which we didn't expect, to have actually got some presents under the tree that we can open, which for us is actually a really big deal, which is very exciting. Also, can we please take a moment of appreciation for John, who has spent many a time tacking up these lights that are now not only in our living room on Christmas mode, they are going to stay all year round unless we have serious reservations in January, but hopefully not in Christmas mode. Um, but there is lots of up and downing on this one, but otherwise they just go straight around the whole of the living room, right down, if I can come, if you can come with me. You can come with me because you're attached to my arm. Uh, down, 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 to our little opening entryway here, which just jollies it up so much. And you can see it goes back through up here. So there is plenty, plenty of Christmas fun to be had. I'm so appreciative. John has gone to the DIY store, whoops, twice <laughs> to make sure he got all the tags. So appreciations, because we don't quite know what we're going to do with that. Um, so we're very excited to have Christmas festive light up, considering we weren't supposed to be here, and <sighs> there is sadness that we're not here. Also, this is a standing desk. I saw it on Instagram from Harry Baker, who is a poet. He was using it, standy desk, and was like, yoink, we have one of them. Uh, it came from, where did it come from, darling? Poland. Poland. It came from Poland, and it is cardboard. I will give you a little show. Um, so it's actually really grand, because as soon as you're not using it, you can just fold it away, and it's gone. So would recommend, if you haven't yet invested in something, John uses it maybe like a couple of hours a day, do you think? Yeah. So, would recommend, I'll put a link to that below, uh, as I found it on the internet, you might enjoy using something like that. Um, part of the reason that we have jumped back into the archives for the last few days is because it's been really sad. I just don't want to let that sneak past, because there's always reasons why you can do things, but part of the reason is it's been really sad and repetitive. I've genuinely just been at my desk, trying to get as much stuff done as I possibly can without overworking. It's been good to share a bit of a different flavour for Vlogmas than just me sat at the dinner table. Uh, but at the same time, just as a using my words to convey, there's been a lot of sadness at what's happened and we plough on. I think on day, what was it? I think I wrote it down. Day 16, I said Christmas can't be cancelled. I did not know that the UK government was going to introduce Tier 4, which is code name for another lockdown, uh, basically, um, and tell me I'm not allowed to meet up with my biological family over Christmas, which is interesting because it really makes me think about Christmas and can it or can it not be cancelled. And I think I am even more convinced that it's worth encouraging you or whoever is listening to really think about what Christmas is for you because if the government can take it all away then it's it's not okay <laughs> there's got to be something else there's got to be something deeper there's got to be something worth celebrating and I, th there is if you are willing to investigate I suppose is a, a call out to say it's worth looking into the claims of Jesus because if he is who he says he was i.e someone who has come to save the world then that's like worth worth knowing about because then you can still celebrate and be excited that Jesus did come, Emmanuel, God with skin on. That's that's massive and that's worth celebrating and that can't be 
cancelled because it happened in history and we're remembering that. Admittedly, I love turkey as much as the next person and we got some tiny little beef things that we did a raid on Tesco's the other day and there was quite a lot of reduced food so we managed to purloin that. Um, so there is the celebratory aspect which I'm not trying to play down because again, like a wedding, it's an image, a picture. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed something of this. I don't know what this has been other than a great opportunity for me to throw a lot of mud at the wall, get back on the horse, create uh, without someone <laughs> telling me uh, what needs to happen, which is hard, but also good in two ways. Uh, so we come into land very soon, but uh, yeah, until then, thank you very much for watching. If you would like to like this, which escaped me as to why you would, but I will still invite you to because it does help. Um, you can like it if you like. Subscribe if you would like to see more of whatever happens next year. And I will see you soon. Thank you and good night. <laughs>